What up? Welcome back. Um, where are we going to start off this week? I suppose getting the roof liner in. I've uh, kind of in the prep mode for the car show. I did pick up another sunroof there the other day out of the same car that I pulled the other roof liner out of. I was trying to strip it all apart to just take the panel out and slide it out of the runners, but it's yeah, it's a nightmare. It looks like you have to take the whole sunroof assembly apart to get it out, so I ended up just bending it and popping it out. And I gave it a you know, paint up there yesterday evening. There was a few of the boys around and we were drinking and music on, so I didn't really record much of it. I suppose I'll give the back edges a go as well. But yep, should be mint. I went mad last night. I ordered myself a new coil cover, new cam cover, a um, couple of bits for the front. And what else do I order? Oh yeah, new steering wheel and boss kit as well. A um, few bits and pieces make it look a little bit better for the show. I'm going, maybe in the morning, I'm going to go see if I can get some tyres onto my wheels. Um, and then other than that, it's just clean the shit out of it. I have to take my sunroof out now because this inner panel comes out from the top. You can't get it out through the bottom at all but I don't think you can no because it's bigger than that gap so yeah take the whole bloody sunroof out I would just stick this whole sunroof panel in but the ends have snapped oh, not that one yeah there that one's gone completely and that one the oh, corner's gone off it so I think I'll just pop drop the sunroof and then pop the, the cover out of it so I'm gonna get stuck back into it and I'll check back in there in a little while. We'll see how we go. Hopefully the sunroof will be out. Should be out. Oh. It's out. Happy days. It was a bit of a mission getting it out on my own now, but it's gonna be a lot funnier trying to get it back up in there on my own. Now I have to take this little drip tray off. Two Phillips screws in here and here, and then pop this out. Just lift it up and pop, click it out. It's pretty clean in there. I was expecting to have a massive spider living in there somewhere, but I didn't. Also, took out the rest of the interior parts. All these bits, paint them as well. No, yeah. just. That out. A little rough, but does the job. Out with the old. Now we get to clean all that up in there. She's pretty manky. Well, it's not too unlike the rest of the car, I suppose. I to wash it off. Shh. Might pop the sunroof out. Whoa. I pop the sunroof out and uh, yeah, I, I have to paint them little bits in there anyway, so yeah, I might pop the roof out and just clean up the rest of it because that looks mint. Look, three of them off and still have all the tabs on them. I was doing, was doing so well until this one. She's snapped in half and the little bits come out of it and it's left three, four of the tabs still there so good job i bought some super glue this one is missing the surrounds and it looks like they all got broken off it as well
I just go in the fucking thing. Oh. No, loads a little bit painted. I uh, I've decided to take a chance and leave these grey and the insides of them because the new steering wheel I have is black with grey stitching and I might try keep that kind of theme going throughout the middle of it out the inside um, and I've also painted up the switches and just sit back in there I didn't paint the inside of it because it was like nah I'm not not rubbing it all down and I want it still to actually shine a bit of light out of it so that's why I didn't paint the insides of them sunroof is sitting in there and my black screen is deadly it disappeared there yeah, and the surrounds in there come out nice you can't even see where it was broken it's pretty sweet I think so yeah pretty happy with that just gonna keep going and we'll see how we get on right next morning I did keep going on it last night and I got all the roof liner in she's looking pretty smick um, I just need to put these couple of trims back on and me oh Jesus handles in the front and the back um, and then yeah should be good to go I'm not too sure about the grey for the mirrors and stuff so I'll have to wait and see. My steering wheel has a grey line here in the centre and then grey stitching around it. So I reckon it might might look okay. So we'll, I'll just keep going with it the way it is. I broke this one last night. So I'm going to have to do something about that. But uh, yeah, I'm loaded up with my other wheels so just gonna go get tires on them and uh, yeah then pick up my diff from Ray's so I can actually slide on the skid pan and go wash the car so yeah a few little bits of running around to do there this morning and then we should be back in the shed with a diff and some new tires hopefully and I'm back and I have a diff so I was going to procrastinate and just go, uh, I might do it tomorrow or do it during the week, but exhausts are going to be hot at the minute, I'm only on the way back. So I'm just going to jack it up and start loosening stuff off. Yeah, get it done. <sighs> I got to here, lucky I didn't go any further and start put, pulling lumps off it because I don't know where my big Allen key sockets are. Are my big Allen keys for in here? So yeah, it's looking like I'm not doing much this evening. Bit of munch here, well, I'm halfway through. I got a little bit distracted this evening, but yeah, I have the other diff is in. There's the open diff on the ground over there. So she's in, and all the main diff bolts are bolted up tight. So take a two minute break, watch a YouTube video, eat a pizza, get back into it. Have to get it done for the morning, drive to work again. We what up? It's now Tuesday evening. Don't know where I left off last night. Have the diff in. Um, I think I nearly had it in last night when I left off. I'm not sure I had a, a few distractions. But uh, yeah, diff is in. Um, with the big tires and now with the manual conversion, I didn't have them the last time the diff was in. Um, it's very aggressive. Very, very aggressive. Uh, as you'd expect from a welded diff. But yeah, I will definitely be taking it out of it and pricing up some diff options. I think I'll go with the Cusco one that you can have as a 1.5 or 2 way. But we'll see how we go. I'll get on, I'll edit this video, and yeah, we'll chat to you all next week. But before I go, I want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed. We've just crossed over 100 subscribers, and we'll keep the videos coming. I'm loving all the, all the feedback that we're getting. The comments, they're good. Ask questions. But until the next time, peace. See you all later.